The Blue Room is an oil-on-canvas painting by Pablo Picasso. In 2014, scientists using infrared technology discovered the form of a man under the main drawing. The bearded man wears a bow tie and supports his head with his hand, while wearing three rings on his fingers. But how they did it? Is there a way to identify the pigments of a painting without even touching it? Multispectral imaging is a process of capturing images of an object by using different but discrete wavelength bands of electromagnetic spectrum, which include the visible region and extend beyond it into the ultraviolet and near-infrared regions. The key is that there is different degree of penetrating radiation into the artwork depending on the wavelength. The setup consists of a high-resolution robotic color IP camera. The camera is equipped with 12 infrared LEDs of 850 nanometers, so that it is possible to record the image in total darkness. The painting is placed in front of the camera. Various filters from the school science lab are interposed between the camera and the panel, allowing the selective passage of light from the camera lens. The filters are mounted on a platform which can rotate via a servo motor. The motor is controlled by an Arduino microcontroller. In order to reproduce what the camera records on the computer screen, we created our own program with which we can simultaneously control various functions of the camera. The program was made with the freeware B4J. Now let's see the setup in action. Here we see the project through the computer screen. We can select to show it to us in grayscale. If we select a filter, then the platform rotates until the specific filter is in front of the camera. Notice how the intensity of pixels at the area of smuff changes. If we activate the night mode of the camera, we will be able to see the draft of our project. The draft shows details that are not visible in the painting. First, we normalize our images for each filter. Then we select a small area of the project and calculate the average value of the brightness of the pixels of this area. In this way, we construct the intensity curve for the various filters. By comparing our curve with corresponding curves of known pigments, we could identify the pigment used in our own work, a technique that could be used to verify the authenticity of an artwork. For further information, visit our website.